Hi there, Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about how to adjust an air ride seat in a big truck or a bus or an RV if you have an air ride seat in, a, in an RV as well. Uh, for new drivers, uh, learning how to double clutch a non-synchromesh transmission, it's important to set the seat up right to help you do that. And for veteran drivers, it will help to maintain the health of your back. We'll be right back to talk to you about how to adjust an air ride seat. Rick, welcome back. Talking to you today about how to adjust an air ride seat in a big truck. For new drivers, it's important that you have a slight bend in the knees and the seat goes up and down. Obviously, you can get it all the way to the top so you're like a little kid on a toilet seat. Or you can put the seat all the way to the bottom. That way you can pretend you're a Peterbilt driver. Now, for most of us who are not Peterbilt drivers and don't enjoy sitting on a toilet seat like a little kid, you want the seat and approximately so you have a straight 90 degree bend in the knees here. Now, adjusting the seat back and forth, what I tell new drivers when they're adjusting a seat back and forth is to put the seat a little bit farther back than you normally would. For me, unfortunately, for a lot of trucks, which I don't understand because I'm really only of average height, I'm just under six feet. For drivers over six feet, I'm not sure they do because this seat is now all the way back and this is where I would have the seat for me. What I tell new drivers who have a lot of trouble pushing the clutch in too far when they learn how to drive a non-synchromous transmission is to put the seat farther back and when they have to push the clutch in for their starting gear, slide their bum forward like this, push the clutch all the way in, get it into gear and then let the clutch out and then slide your bum back. So that way you're not too close, you're not inclined to push the clutch in too far and engage that clutch brake and get a rough ship. So new drivers that's important. Now, so we've got the height, we've got how far forward we need it to have so that we're just pushing the clutch in so when you're extended full extension on your leg you're not pushing the clutch in more than an inch okay for new drivers that's important as you veteran drivers and you're driving long distances you'll probably want to move the seat back and forth the back many of these seats have lumbar support so you want to use that lumbar support as well now the seat goes up and down. Some of the newer seats, the bottom piece will move out depending on how long your legs are versus your torso. And a lot of that will be about personal comfort. Now, and it also spreads sideways to get the cheeks of your bum in there nice and comfortable for those who are driving long haul and long periods of time in the seat as well. The key to air ride seats that a lot of people don't know and a lot of veterans don't know is that they are locked out like this right now this seat is locked now you can unlock this seat and this is on the forward and reverse adjustment as well now the seat actually rocks back and forth and it's important to have the seat unlocked after you have learned how to drive and you start working in the industry because it's hard on your back when the truck bounces over a bump it doesn't go straight up and down like this it actually bucks forward like this so when you are bucked forward in the seat it's important to have it unlocked because then the seat will rock back and forth that energy isn't transformed into your back but is taken through the vehicle despite what many people might think about air ride suspension air seats and air ride cabs trucks are still rough and they're hard on your body especially if you're driving for long periods of time so have the seat unlocked maintain the health of your back and it's usually on the forward and back adjustment it just moves into a position where the seat becomes unlocked as it is now or there's a switch on the side of the seat that you turn and it will unlock the seat so if you're driving long hours make sure you unlock the seat so in conclusion talking about air ride seats for new drivers put the seat back so you're not as inclined to push the clutch all the way to the floor if you need to get the clutch to the floor to get the clutch brake engaged move your bum forward push it in, get it into gear, let it out, and then slide your bum back and use your gears after your starting gear. For veteran drivers, make sure you unlock the seat to maintain the health of your back over a long career of driving, especially if you're sitting in the truck and driving for long periods of time. Make sure the seat is unlocked in this forward and back because as I said, this truck doesn't bounce up and down, straight up and down like this, it actually bucks forward. And instead of having that energy transformed into your back and deteriorating the health of your spine, 
it's taken into the seat and you actually rock back and forth. I'm Rick with Smart Drive Test. Thanks for watching. If you like the channel, subscribe below, hit that like button. Another subscribe button over there in the corner. Or is it over there in the corner? It's one of those corners down there. There's a red button. Push that one. Okay. Thanks for watching. Remember, pick the best answer, not necessarily the right answer. Have a great day. Bye now.